As humanity sets its sights on the boundless expanse of space, the role of rocket propulsion fuels takes center stage in our quest for cosmic exploration. Leading the charge into this new frontier is SpaceX, pioneering the use of an unprecedented fuel for their revolutionary mega-rocket, Starship. This groundbreaking fuel? Methane. But SpaceX is not alone in this choice. A wave of emerging private launchers, from Blue Origin's New Glenn and Rocket Lab's Neutron Rocket, to existing companies like ULA's Vulcan, are also embracing methane as their fuel of choice. So, why methane? What advantages does it offer over the traditional fuels of kerosene and hydrogen? Join us as we delve into the captivating world of rocket propulsion and uncover the answers to these burning questions on today's episode of SpaceX Flight. But before we get in, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, let's dive right in. Methane, a seemingly simple compound comprised of one carbon atom, and four hydrogen atoms has emerged as an unexpected star in the realm of rocket propulsion. To grasp its significance, we must contrast it with conventional propellants like kerosene. Although kerosene boasts affordability and stability at standard conditions, its higher carbon content poses challenges. This carbon-rich molecule can lead to the formation of problematic soot and residue within engine components over time, a phenomenon known as coking as demonstrated when the Saturn V rocket produced massive amounts of sooty particles as it lifted itself off the ground. This degradation undermines engine efficiency and hampers rapid reusability, necessitating costly maintenance between flights. Moreover, the complexity of refining kerosene renders its production on celestial bodies like Mars unfeasible due to the absence of oil deposits. Liquid hydrogen, a propellant embraced following the era of the iconic space shuttle, brings with it a blend of benefits and challenges. While it boasts superior performance and cleaner combustion compared to other fuels, including its higher energy yield per unit mass and its abundance throughout space, it presents formidable hurdles. One such hurdle is the stringent temperature requirements for its storage, plummeting to minus 252 degrees Celsius. Maintaining hydrogen in a liquid state demands sophisticated insulation and cooling systems to mitigate its natural inclination to evaporate rapidly. Moreover, its lower density requires the use of larger fuel tanks to maintain the ideal hydrogen-to-oxygen ratio for efficient combustion, as seen in the notable tank sizes of hydrogen-fueled rockets such as the Ariane 5 and Delta IV. Compounding this challenge is the phenomenon of hydrogen embrittlement, wherein hydrogen atoms permeate the metal structure of fuel tanks over time, leading to potential weakening and structural integrity issues. This process driven by hydrogen diffusion through extremely small gaps in the metal, poses a significant risk of tank rupture in extreme cases. On the spectrum of rocket fuels, methane occupies a unique position, offering a balance between the characteristics of traditional options, boasting a boiling point of approximately minus 162 degrees Celsius. Methane aligns closely with the temperature at which liquid oxygen boils, around minus 182 degrees Celsius. This compatibility streamlines infrastructure requirements for liquefaction and storage, as much of the existing infrastructure designed for liquid oxygen can be repurposed for liquid methane. Moreover, owing to methane's singular carbon molecule structure, the formation of soot and residue on engine components is minimal, ensuring prolonged engine reusability. Another standout feature of methane is its potential to be synthesized on Mars using the Sabatier reaction a process that combines carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere with hydrogen to produce methane and water. This capability not only facilitates resource utilization for propulsion, but also opens avenues for sustainable practices such as water production for various essential applications during extended missions to the Red Planet. As rocket technology advances towards full reusability, the economics of space travel are poised for a dramatic shift. With fully reusable rockets, Launch costs will primarily consist of fuel and maintenance, particularly noteworthy in the case of Starship. To align with SpaceX's mission of slashing launch costs and democratizing space access, a crucial step involves securing a self-sustaining source of propellants. This strategy aims to reduce reliance on external fuel suppliers and streamline the supply chain vertically. NASA's Kennedy Space Center churns out an impressive 265 tons of liquid oxygen daily showcasing the potential scale of in-house propellant production. SpaceX endeavors to replicate this method by compressing air at around 100 PSI, 
followed by meticulous filtration and chilling to cryogenic temperatures. This intensive process effectively rids the mixture of impurities such as carbon dioxide, water, and other unwanted substances. Next, the mixture undergoes further refinement, reaching the boiling points of nitrogen and argon, causing them to transition into a gaseous state for separation. Ultimately, the outcome is pristine liquid oxygen, ready for use in rocket propulsion. While the process demands considerable energy input, the scalability of the system promises rapid cost reductions through economies of scale as production increases. In the realm of space exploration, SpaceX stands as a pioneer, spearheading a transformative era in space travel. With groundbreaking achievements like reusable Falcon boosters and the promising Starship on the horizon, each advancement marks a significant stride towards SpaceX's audacious goal of democratizing space travel. As they forge ahead, every incremental breakthrough brings humanity closer to a future where spaceflight is as commonplace as air travel. That's all for today's episode. We really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input, and it helps us create better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.